Hi, my name is Kelly Tillman. I am the field crop entomologist at Ohio State University. And today I'm going to talk about bean leaf beetle in soybean, in particular late season bean leaf beetle problems. Bean leaf beetle in Ohio has two generations a year, and then they spend the winter as adults. The very first ones that we see at the beginning of the year are the overwintered adults from the previous summer. They lay the eggs that creates the first generation of adult beetles, which feeds in the summertime. Uh, mostly on leaf feeding. Tends to be not typically a problem for the leaf feeders. We worry a little bit more for economic impact uh, about the second generation of adult bean leaf beetles because those are the ones that are more likely to feed on pods, uh, pods with the developing seeds. And this is something that we look out for in mid to late August and also September. The fields that are at most risk late in the season are fields that are still green in September because they were planted late. So the way you determine uh, if you're at a threshold for pod feeding bean leaf beetles is to go through the field and pick 10 different plants and examine all of the pods on that plant, not just the ones at the top. And you want to look for feeding damage. Now the feeding damage is pretty easy. You can see scars from where the beetles have been feeding on those pods. So check 10 plants throughout the field, look at all the pods on those plants, and if 10 to 15 percent of the pods have feeding damage, and if the beetles are still in the field, you're at a treatment threshold. Another important thing to keep in mind about any late season in soybean is to be mindful of your harvest intervals. Many products that you might use could have harvest intervals up to 45 days. And so you want to be mindful if you're considering a late season spray of what your interval to harvest will be. Always read and follow label instructions. And as always, if you have any questions, uh, please just let OSU Extension know.